Um, is there going to be another one? Another Dirty Sanchez? Yeah. Everyone just baiting for this another Sanchez. And then yeah. I found out yet last night, actually, Dink gave me a ring. I've seen this Johnny Knoxville. Because he's just doing and he's doing questions from fans. Have you heard of a show called Dirty Sanchez? He said, "Yeah, have you heard of a show called Dirty Sanchez?" And it shows a photo of me and Dayton having a boxing match. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, yeah. I, I, but and going back to your question, is there going to be another Dirty Sanchez movie? Killer, killer, podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live and direct, central London, as central as you need to be, could be, want to be, you don't want to be anywhere else, trust me. Big shout to graffitikings.co.uk. Hail up everyone's got the Kellervision app um, on a free download, all your street culture sports, a sporting art, that's how we like it. Um, uh, <laughs> here comes the troll, a dear friend of mine that I've known for pretty much the start of my beatbox career um, and uh, a huge fan I was before then. Uh, he's gone on to do some amazing feats uh, with Dirty Sanchez, uh, Ala uh, Dainton and we'll go through the whole list actually to be fair. We have the vegan iced. Yeah, what's up? The Pritchard inside the blaze. <laughs> <laughs> How are you champion? Yeah, good man. Yeah, just a nice trip down on the train. Yeah, I was just thinking. Christ, when was the last time I seen you? Oh, I and I, I, I know the last, the last time I did see you was my brother had a party in his house. Oh yeah, and this is going back. It's like the Sanchez days. Oh shit! Yeah, and that's at least two thousand three, two thousand four. So that's been a long, you know, it's a long time since I seen you last. Long time since we should have known better. Yeah. Here again, um, I the distant memory of I have of you. <laughs> was we were on the Red Bull aeroplane party bus. Do you remember this? Yeah, yeah. And we <laughs> jumped into the back of oh, You were on that as well, were you? Yeah, yeah. You won't remember it. Well, I vaguely remember it because it was such a... So the, the story behind this was Red Bull would put on like this aeroplane yeah. where at six in the morning they gave random people uh, gift vouchers to show up at Gatwick Airport show up with these vouchers and they go, oh, it's actually, it's a Red Bull party bus and you're going to be flown to Madrid to see the X Games with the bikes flying around. And uh, you guys, uh, Dirty Sanchez, were the uh, air stewards. And it got absolutely messy. Well, uh, do you remember this? Yeah, like, I do, because I remember being, a, I'm not naming names, but I remember being on the coach on our way to the airport. Mm. And some, <laughs> somebody behind me is jacking up, not jacking up smack, just yeah. jacking up adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I'm like, whoa, man, this 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 party's just gonna go off. Yeah. And uh, it was, yeah, it, it, it basically it was a 24 hour party. That's all it, it was, was, wasn't it? it and, was. and everyone just got loaded, had a lot of fun, watched the the the, the motocross. Yeah. Literally flew back, got home, <laughs> and just collapsed in bed. It was but a it was good. Rush. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah. It was I remember good. you passing me poppers. <laughs> In the, oh, did I? Oh, you, we were in the back of the bus. Like, we just the finished. We were oh. He goes, he goes, yeah, you tried poppers, and then oh, that's a really bad Welsh accent. But you crack it open, <laughs> and you literally grab my nostril and shove the fucker that. <laughs> 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 like, uh, and I'm just there for like I'm tweaking out for about 20 <laughs> minutes while you're holding it against oh, me. Yeah, you know, well, that's so I good. Done poppers for ages. And, well, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I, 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 I've never had a problem with them myself, but it's a, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Well, because you were poppers and pills back in the mm. days. Mm. Yeah, you take you to mm. <laughs> take you to outer space, put you straight on the button moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real instantaneous, wasn't it? Yeah. So, and it kind of satisfies where maybe. Coke or anything like that. Not that I ever could try Coke, but from my understanding, you uh, you you chase that demon all night. Where Poppers is just like a ding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess you're always chasing anything chasing like that. You're always chasing. It's like a, a wine, lager, anything. Yeah. Really. Constantly chasing it. Yeah, but well, yeah. Oh, and the other, uh, we did go on tour with each other for a bit as well, didn't we? There was. The, did we? Yeah, we did. Well, like I said to you in the car earlier. The, f- the very first time. I saw you, I, I can remember it, because I remember my, my friend Dav, he used to do hustle nights in Cardiff, mm. and 
it was a club we've all back in Wombie Street in Cardiff. It's a very uh, famous uh, club. And it's been yeah, going for years. It's, st- it's still still, it. still there to this day. Amazing Nothing. dance floor. No 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 VIP. No none of this posh stuff. Just mm. dance floor. Set of decks. Have it. Mm. And uh, you you played there, and I was just like. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, man! How the hell do you get that stuff out your mouth?" <laughs> and uh, and and then, we because you just kept coming back and forth to Cardiff, and yeah, then that's always so gone, gone yeah. to no one another. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, the, the amount of house parties. Or I remember when I first met you. You know, it was a real big deal to me because I was a skate fan, and you were in all the skate videos. You were down in like the southeast in Croydon. There was some video that I saw there, and all my mates were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, Pritchard, Pritchard." And and then I met you. And then the next thing we're at a house party drinking, it's just like these kind of out of body, you know, um, imposter syndrome moments that a kid would have, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> good times, man. Yeah, it's good times. Good times. Um, and skateboarding has always been prevalent with you and the, the Dirty Sanchez team. Early, early adopters to Dirty Sanchez will see that, you know, there was, of its time, a lot of skate influenced stuff, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's where we all met, that's where we all first started. And I've, and I've said this over and over again, it's, it's thanks to skateboarding that I'm, I'm, I've got to where I am today. Mm-hmm. You know, skateboarding just... But I love that. Well, you know, I still love skateboarding today. I'm actually going on a skate trip, my first proper skate trip since Dubai, the Dubai 40s trip in 2019 before wow. COVID hit and stuff. So I'm going on a first skate trip since then with Dane Dyke and Kate to uh, Al- something like Albania or something. Mm-hmm. Get some footage, hang out, have a laugh and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that's the beginning of next month. Talk to me about the freedom that skateboarding brings you. Because there's clearly like, I don't know, the, 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 the uh, psychologist would say that when, when you've not got skateboard or you're not doing skateboarding, mm. it leads the mind to a little bit of idle time, which is the best bit about Dirty Sanchez. It's not having that opportunity to skate. Do you think, what freedom does skateboarding bring to you? Like, do you miss it? Is there a thing that, it triggers in you that you're just like, yo, fucking... Um, I mean, I don't skate as much as what I used to back in the day. So I can't really say I miss it, but I do miss it. I miss those days when I could... When you know, when I was a, when I was a child <laughs> and I just could go out and slam myself day in, day out, day out. And I just absolutely loved it. I, I ate, drank breathe skateboarding mm. i miss those days mm. i really do because mm. i just you know go hanging out with a panic and blueprint team in mountain kings there or in go. london or croydon yeah. with all the boys and, and you know we were just, just a team hanging out skating all day mm. partying all night repeat 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 and it was just the best days so yeah. i miss skateboarding on that uh, you know and I, and I like i think with skateboarding now I enjoy doing it, but I, I want to be able to do what I used to be able to do. It's a labour of love, my, isn't my, it? My, yeah. you know, my my head, my head says I can. I can, I, I can literally picture me doing it, but my body just yeah. doesn't oh, doesn't talk to my brain yeah, like yeah. what I used to doing it, and it just doesn't happen, man. I think that happens, but it's just the way it is, and yeah. you've got to accept it. I think a lot of a lot of um, artistical sports fall foul a little bit to that, don't they? I mean. Maybe not so much, you know, the beatboxing side of things, but I certainly feel like jumping around on stage, big up example, by the way, because he, he goes in on his shows. It's not easy. It's not easy, is it? You know? No, no, no. no. You, I'm, well, I'm actually going to go and see example mm. tonight. You went to see him yeah. last night. He, uh, he gives 100% on stage, and I love seeing people give 100%. Yeah. You know, and, that, and, that, and he's got a long set as well, so that's, yeah. that's a good few hours in the gym if you put that together. <laughs> totally. You, I mean, in fact, you, you wouldn't need to go to the gym, would you? Oh, well, you wouldn't, know. Yeah, and I'd also argue that when it came to the Dirty Sanchez stuff, there was a lot of pre-preparing from you guys. Like, I mean, I know a lot of it was on the cuff, but that, that took, must have taken a lot out of you lot. Um, yeah. I mean, I, your wits ends, your nerve endings and shit. I'd say it did take a lot. It did take a lot out of us, but... I mean, when you when you're gonna do stuff like that, of course he's gonna take it out of you. You just, you know, you yeah. you're pushing your bodies to the uh, yeah to the max, man. Yeah, 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 for real. <laughs> whatever, whatever we were doing, but you know, you're always trying to outdo the last stunt that you did and stuff, and and you end up breaking yourself, hurting mm. yourself. But it, 
I mean, I guess everything I've done in my life is just taking it out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, day, the day I go six foot under, my body's going to go, thank, thank fuck for that. But you drive it like you stole it. That's like the idea, isn't it? Like, life is about that, isn't it? Like, Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah. You only... It's like, it's like that, that, that dash. It's, you, you, you're born on this day and you die this day. What you do in there is really important. So from there to there, mm. go fucking mental. Yeah. yeah. And at least, you know, when you go in six foot under... You've you, done you, it all. You did a good job. Mate, I love that. And that is the spirit, whether it's Jackass or Dirty Sanchez and all the other contemporaries that really, at, of its time, totally impacted us as, you know, young, impressionable uh, males. It's that attitude. It's like, what are you waiting for? Who's telling you what? Go and do it. Like, you're meant to, go, you're meant to push the system. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to entirely go against it, but push it. See how far you can push the envelope, innit? I, yeah, I mean, I've, uh, <laughs> I guess I've been trying to push, push, push the limits for quite a while, for many years. Mm. And, 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 and whenever everything we've done or I've done, but mm. sometimes I fail, sometimes I succeed. It's, it's, you know what's it's funny, just right? win or lose. If you know what's <laughs> funny? It's like I'm sitting here watching it and I feel like it's like next day, bro. It's like, it's next day. Like, I honestly feel like, I've, yeah, it's, it's Pritch, you know? And you're still always the same Pritch. You're still that same guy all the time. Doesn't doesn't change. No, no, well, the, I am where I am. Like, yeah. so it's just, you know, I'm not going to... I'm still Mr. 50-50, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're still like up for it. You're like, yeah, we're doing it. Let's go. Like, it was like that with this podcast. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah, but I mean, it was quite... Because you said that, because I, I, I was coming to London, I was like, brilliant, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, we were trying to figure out the know, and it's, it. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. It's been nice to see you and... Mm. I used to hang out and go and do some stuff in London yeah, on my yeah. own before going to go see the, the boys and the, the crew tonight. Then I got to go and see my friend, Sonny, who uh, I did a gumball with many years ago and like, he's become a good friend. So, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, spending some time in the big smoke, baby. Mm, uh, gumball, that's another one. I mean, you must have collected so many um, lives of mini lives on your journey. Dude, like... I, I've taken about five years off my life. I've done five gumballs and I say every time I do a gumball, I take a year off my life. Really? And I, and I, again, like I said, if you're going to do it, do it properly. And I, I can't just go, to, I just, I can't go and start the gumball and just drive and just, you know, have a little bit to eat and like yeah. a few glasses of wine, go to bed. Let's Driving Miss Daisy kind day. of shit. That ain't gumbo, <laughs> man. You go in, I'm fucking going to party my pants off until, well, and, well I'm not going to go to bed. I'm going to go straight from the party into the car. Obviously, I can't drive because I'm in a state. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And normally people don't <laughs> trust me to drive anyway because I'm erratic and I drive like an idiot. So I go crazy at the party, <laughs> use the car as sort of like the, the bed, <laughs> to sort of have uh, home base, yeah, yeah, like interrupted sleep, and then next thing you know, I'm in another city, and it's time to go again. So, wow, oh, you, okay, so, so, Gumball, explain Gumball for those that are out of a different uh, Gumball or... rally is 120 supercars, uh, a lot of rich people, um, and it's 3,000 miles from one place to the next place, mm. and over the years, it's run by Maximilian. Uh, Mac, Maximilian like Cooper, Max Million, yeah. who lives in London. Uh, they got the, the the HQ down. I can't remember where it is, but anyway, he's running for twenty one or twenty two years now, and every year it's a different route, but it's always three thousand miles. And every night you stop at a city or somewhere where are five star hotels, and there's a party, and there's loads of celebrities that do it, and all that kind of stuff. And then it repeats that, and, and every morning you get like a route card, and it says right this. Uh, can because you get lunches? So as you, well, oh so right, you, so you got a root card. You don't get given the root card. I mean, things have changed since technology has come out because yeah. people just use their phones. But then you can go. They've got lunch put on as well. So you, in the morning when you leave, you go to the lunch stop. Some people don't bother. You just carry on. You're gonna have lunch and then you go then to, to the hotel stop, hmm. and then you get given. This is where the party is tonight. Everyone goes out, goes crazy. Repeat. My God. And it's just, just. I mean, I've seen and done some of the craziest things on Gumball. It's just. What's the craziest just thing the you've best. seen? What's the craziest thing you've seen? I'm very curious. Just. 
Hedonism. Just, just, just carnal knowledge. Just bar, bar bills. <laughs> bar bills. I'm like, I see, I saw, the, I saw the bar bills. I saw somebody sign a bar bill off £109,000. Hold what? Yeah. And I just, I just didn't think anything of it. And and I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say much because I don't want to get other people into trouble. But, no. you know, I, I've just seen some, yeah. Really? It, it, it's, it's no all, there's no all's bad. You do what you want. I mean, I mean, there's that infamous thing when I peed all over Dolph Lundgren. Uh, 33,000 uh, 3, 3, foot. I've told the story a million times. Well, you don't have to but, indulge too much. But, but uh, I mean, and, and there was, we went from, I flew from New York to Scotland. And uh, I was on our way to Ibiza. And one of the gumball, and I can't name the names again, mm. but he managed, because they're all private jets. Mm. And we had a load of MGMA, and I was just mm. whacked a load of MGMA, and I'm just oh, raving, yeah. raving around the plane at a period of speed. I was off my tits at MGMA, going, whoa, 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 whoa. but that's just that's gumbo, baby. Wow. And uh, it's, it's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy trip, but it's a fun trip. How many have you done of, again? Full of cool people. Huh? How many have you done again? Five. 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 Yeah. Wow. First one was 2009, and still to this day, it was the best one I've ever done. First is always the best. Yeah, it was um, LA to Miami. And it's with, with my good friend Butsy and Neil Navarro. Oh, big up Butsy, yeah. Them. He's a he's yeah. a bad man. You know he? Butsy? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, I met him once, but then his reputation, uh, respectfully, his reputation preceded him and that people were just like, <laughs> he's the man. He's the fucking man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I've, I've, I've been on a lot of trips around the world with Butsy and, yeah. yeah. Again, I'll keep my mouth shut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think people have, like, Listen, we are going to go down some walked tracks, I'm pretty sure, in questions and Q&As, but, you know, it's, it's standard stuff, isn't it? But do you think people have a perception of you, like, when they first meet you, that, you know, oh, hold hold on to your hats, hold on to your top hats, he's, he come, he's, he's get, it's party time. Do you think there's a perception of that? Yeah, it has been, yeah, yeah. Okay. It has been for many years. I don't think it's as much anymore. Because mm. I've calmed down, oh, calmed down a hell of a lot. Mm. It's just everyone to the blue moon, and I'll I'll, I'll sort of let my mm. let my hat down and, mm. and go crazy. But uh, and again, that's why you know the <laughs> thought of doing another gumball, I'd have to really have a think about it because I can't do things that <laughs> hearted and and I'm not getting any younger. Mm. And uh, I just can't. I know, and I'll be honest, I just can't handle it anymore, and it doesn't do any wonders for my mental health whatsoever. I think that's the other thing as well. That's like yeah. a two week come down, isn't it? <sighs> That's no, not good, man. Mm. Not good. I heard Bono when he comes back off tour, he has to go. He puts himself into a hotel and stays there for two weeks away from his family because of that PTSD of it all. You know, <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. But he can afford it. That's yeah, true. He's got his own <laughs> hotel for starters. You know what I mean? He said there he can have. A, you can have the works, couldn't you? Yeah. But colonics, this, that, that. Just <laughs> empty the whole body, renew it all, blood yeah. transfusions. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, hold on. It's that <laughs> Rolling Stones dream. Actually, uh, talking to which, we are huge Motorhead fans, aren't we? Yeah, let's talk about of that. Of course. Including Lemmy the Dog, which is your uh, faithful companion. And I, I love the fact that you, uh, yeah, yeah, you kind of um, named him after Lemmy the Motorhead. Yeah, he's my, he's my best, uh, he's my best mate, man. Yeah. He did, we just do absolutely everything together. Yeah. We go, well, he sleeps in my bed, we wake up. He comes. I mean, if he can, if I, if he was allowed in the club, he'd come clubbing with me. He just does. We just do everything together. I, you know, we're taking him up the mountains. He's a springer. You know, I did mm. my research before I got him. I wanted an energetic dog so I can go running and shit adventures. They're with. water dogs as well, aren't they? They, they yeah, they, he loves to the come swim. Like I, I, yeah. I actually go swimming with him in the sea. Mm -hmm. And if I get ahead of him, he doesn't like it, so he tries to go faster than me. Bless There's it, a bit eh? of competition there as well. That's cute. But um, he's just, uh, yeah, he's just. He's just the best, man. Um, yeah, so you... Because this is the thing, isn't it? When I associate skateboarding, I mean, I don't... I think punk music, I think... Hip-hop, maybe to a certain extent. What kind of stuff were you into? What kind of stuff were you into? When I was a kid? Yeah. Uh, Dinosaur Junior. Uh, yeah, they're still wicked now. Yeah, yeah, I, I just... Because they were on some of the GNS skate videos and stuff. Dinosaur Junior, Doors... Mm. Beatles, because my, my 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 parents they had um, they had a really good um, music collection. So I used to, <laughs> I never used to listen to the charty stuff. I used to listen to their mm. albums mm -hmm. and stuff instead. Mm -hmm. 
And then, but then I was, but then the eighties come along. And I just, I just love the eighties. Yeah. The eighties were, were good. So we yeah, we I, 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 yeah, I used to love Public Enemy as well. Yeah, or like old school hip hop and stuff. I'm sorry, you know what? And, and Queen, Queen was. It's... I was in the fan club. Queen really? was. Really? Oh, when I was fifteen, I was in the fan club. I used to get things on. They were my that that was my just my love Queen, and they still to this day. Mm-hmm. They, they just. I just love them. Yeah, so good. Well, even with um, our our kid, what's his name? Oh yeah, I went to I went to see I went Lad to see Lambert. Him. Yeah, yeah, and and he, what what an, what an amazing job he did. Mm. My missus done a jumper. That she does customization jumpers. Yeah, done one for him. And he uh, took photo and everything. Yeah, no way. Oh, oh sick man. And I got a thank you as well. Phil Campbell, you hooked me up. I got to meet him because of you. Oh, did you? Yeah, I texted you. I said, yeah, Phil Campbell and Bastard Son's going to be there in London at uh, in Tufnell Park. And you're oh, like, sh- yeah, I forgot about that. And you're yeah, like, yeah. no problem, pal. I'll get your meet and greet. And it happened. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Phil's cool, man. He's awesome. Yeah, 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 really nice guy. Man, uh, him and his sons, they're really, really super cool. Super cool guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked show. Yeah. And I didn't miss, uh, although obviously there were these motorhead moments of like, mm. you know, them doing covers. They're new stuff sick. Like, I like it. I yes, like the festival together. Singer's good. Yeah. I feel, man. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Some stories of Phil Campbell. Yes, let's go. <laughs> there we he go. Is. He's just, uh, he's funny. Because we, we, we were in, um, I can't remember where it was, but we were on in the same town. Doing the Dirty Sanchez or Pritchard for Staten gig as Motorhead on the same night. I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. So the Motorhead were on first, but then we were on later in the club. So I said to Mickey, uh, I said to Mickey D, I said, Look, can I borrow your drumsticks? Nice. So we, have so, uh, for a trip for our, one of our stunts on, on, on stage, mm-hmm. and I said, Do you want to come and see us? So Mickey D and Phil Campbell came to see us live on stage. Mm-hmm. And at the end, it was the one where me and Dink stick the drum, drumsticks up our ass and then have a drumstick fight. The first one that <laughs> falls out gets a dirty Sanchez. So, of course, Mickey D <laughs> is fucking there in the crowd going, Oh my God, man, this is what they want to use my drumsticks for. Yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, obviously, he didn't want them back. <laughs> So that's what we did that, and then we went to the after party, <laughs> to the mug at the after party, and Phil's like, just you know, just jump on the coach, man, come on tour with Motorhead. Stop I'm it! Like, Stop it! I was it. just like, I was on tour myself, so I I couldn't, and I'm just, and I'll never, I'll never forget it because mm. I was like, if I wasn't gone on tour, I would have been gone. See that? I would have been on the road with Motorhead for uh, yeah, but months, months, couldn't months. do it. But um, he, we gave Phil a press. Uh, we gave Phil a present. He says, oh, I, uh, me and Dean did um, a, a, a ball koozie, which is like a, a teapot with hot water in it. Okay. And you dip... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. It's going to sound... We did it in one of the Sanchez things, Australia. <laughs> you dip the balls in and... and what are you doing? I what? dip my balls I, no, in. I'm just going to explain Dane, this, what Dane, he's doing with his no, hands. No, no, Dave yeah. blew through the spout. <laughs> so, so it bubbles up. So you have a ball koozie. So, so this it, is like it's, a... It's like a teapot. A teapot. That, that has hot water in. Yeah. And you blow through the thing and it's a, and your balls start... Bub, bub, How does that balls. feel? Oh, I don't know. It's just... Uh, we couldn't stop laughing. So I couldn't really <laughs> say it was, just stupid, it was that pleasant. Funny idea. So we kept it and we gave it to Phil. And we said, uh, how's, that, um, how's that teapot, Phil? And he said, it's, he said, I've kept it pride of place on above the fireplace next to my Grammy Award. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Campbell in his house has got a Grammy Award and the and the teapot that we did ball koozie with. And I was just like... Fucking legendary. It, it's, oh, man, it's funny. That's too much. Did you meet Lemmy himself? No, himself? I don't. I went backstage a few times with Phil and Mickey and I never, never, mm. never, never got to meet Lemmy. Mm. I mean, I wish I, I wish I did, but... Of course, of course. But, yeah, I mean, I got... I mean, there's, there's tons of stories of Phil, but I'm not mm. going to go into them because they're... they're X-rated, so... And not only that, they're for you. These moments... Yeah, are, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know I, mean? I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to share everything. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. That's, that's Yeah. The, and again, just uh, relaying, just life of mini, mini lives, isn't it? Um, mm. Do you feel like you're uh, constantly uh, challenged by what the next new thing is? Because you literally do you, vegan books, vegan shows. You're now, like, doing marathon runs for charity and swims and, you know, you're constantly... Evolving, like, is there anything you haven't done where you think so? Yeah, I'll bet that, or is it all just a lot? Um, I just enjoy doing, mm. I just enjoy doing stuff. 
If I, if I get into something, I get into it. I'm just one of those kind of people. I think, mm. I'm, a little, I think I'm a little bit autistic, I think. Yeah. I guess, I mean, I was, I, I trained to be a chef uh, in college. Right. So that's where that comes from. Yeah, and then when I turned vegan in 2015, I found a whole new love for cooking and did my YouTube show. Then BBC came knocking. So we did two series of Dirty Vegan and then two books great. come off the back of it. Yeah. So that's how all that happened. Uh, as for the running and stuff, I mean, that was in 2009, I think it was. Mm. And after San, you know, the mayhem of Sanchez, Sanchez was catching up with me, so I decided to do something about it and start doing Keep Fit. So I got addicted to Keep Fit. And, and then I started doing the Ironmans, the double Ironmans, the triple Ironmans, 10 Ironmans, 30 sake. half Ironmans in 30 days, and just running John O'Groats to Land's End, cycling yeah. John O'Groats to Land's End. So just, I mean, I, it's just. That is just that's life though, isn't it? You've you've got to keep to do it. You've got to keep going. Mm. You've got to keep going. And I just, you know, if I do, if I find something I love, I'll just try and do it to the to the limit. Is that your biggest fear, like not having anything to do? Is it all that? Yeah, yeah pretty, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. I've, well, after just after I've just rode the last big thing I did was rode across the Atlantic, and I must say, I've I'd say over the last few weeks I've. I can't, um, it's, uh, yeah, so it played on my mind quite a bit, actually. Did it? Yeah, because I, I really enjoy it. I, I just, it was, I was at such peace out there. Just, and I just, yeah. I want to just, I, I find the land too noisy, too much. It's getting worse as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I've got to, yeah. I've got to turn the, I've got to turn the news off yeah. and everything, because it yeah. drives me absolutely bananas and I'm, I'm yeah, hitting yeah, the yeah. bottom a little bit too much as well. So yeah, well, recently. Yeah. Recently, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we do have, however, a, a nice <laughs> glass of Jack Daniel's water. Those, 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 those <laughs> days are long gone, or oh, oh, some would say. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of habits that I encounter in my life that just don't seem to want to leave me. No matter how much I try, I, and, and I haven't drank, a, I mean, I didn't drink for like seven months, after Christmas, I was like, oh, I'll have a Guinness, you know. Oh, here we go again. Do you know what I mean? It never leaves you. No, no, no. I did exactly that. I did 62 days before Christmas. Christmas Day came. That was yeah. Christmas Day, and yeah. it? You give a stupid excuse. Yeah, yeah, always an excuse. And then it? that was it then. Just been on the train since. Yeah, yeah. What do we do? How do people, how do we stop doing this thing that we know, like, we're so great at maintaining. We stop, 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 stop. And then St. Patrick's Day comes, or... It's Easter, or someone's opened an envelope. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. It's just... <laughs> it's, yeah, exactly. But, whew. I mean, if you, can, if you can enjoy it and control it, then that's cool. But, I mean, if you've got that addictive personality, it's pretty hard to just t mm. turn that off. You know, just constantly, next, next, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you got kids? Me? Yeah. No. Well, see, I think maybe that's part of the, the game. Is like if you've, because I ain't got kids neither, so it sounds like a high class problem. It really is. <laughs> but if you've got <laughs> idle time, then you can have a drink, oh, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to have kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kira, let's have kids. So I'm yeah. just gonna take my mind off all this drinking. It's my official. Life, you know? Don't. Have I, kids, I mean, kids. don't. Get, I mean, when I, I'm nothing like what I was back in the day. I'm mm. just, I'm, I'm pretty chill, but still, it's, it's a, it's a little bit. More than I'd like to be drinking at the moment. Yeah, I feel you. I feel yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, world's ever changing, isn't it? Um, yeah. And one thing that's become quite prevalent, prevalent, uh, and thanks to you, I watched it. Was the Jackass movie, which uh, you you guys posted about, and I was like, yeah, oh god, I watched this, uh, and it didn't disappoint. And I know that from your end, as you came in, and we were talking about it, that people have all of a sudden the attention on Dirty Sanchez has kind of swung back mm. around, which is fucking great. What's your fit? <laughs> it's like sixty-two thousand pound question. Damn it! You gonna have a Dirty Sanchez movie coming? I mean, I was actually I was, did the soundtrack to the movie as well, the last one. Did you? Yeah. For the the, the yeah. Dirty Sanchez one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know you never knew that. That's Supergrass. Supergrass. No that's way. Yeah, that's me. I didn't know. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's much you learn something every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I've yeah. always been. I've always been in, in the periphery yeah, yeah, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there gonna be another one? Another Dirty Sanchez. Yeah, I mean, on. since Jackass has come out, that's, I mean, if you look at my socials, I mean, it's just gone. Cause it's got to be a Sanchez forever. No? There's got to be another film. It's got, and it's just everyone's, everyone just 
baiting for this another Sanchez. And then yeah. I found out yet last night actually, Dink gave me a ring. I've seen this Johnny Knoxville because he's just doing and he's doing questions from fans. Mm. And he said, and uh, have you ever heard of a, uh, a show called Jackass? And Johnny Knoxville's like, yeah, have you heard of a show called um, have you heard of a show called Dirty Sanchez? He said, yeah, have you heard of a show called Dirty Sanchez? And it shows a photo of me and Dayton having a boxing match. Yeah. And it says, uh, I've heard of it, but I haven't really seen it. But, um, you know, it, the world's open to, you know, anyone can do whatever they want, whatever. And oh, I yeah. thought, well... Yeah, 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 yeah. Thought, well, he you, kind you, of endorsed it in a way that was like, hey, there's enough on the plate for everybody. We can all be doing this. Yeah, yeah, but then I just found, I thought, what? Well, Really? You haven't seen Dirty Sanchez? Surely you have. I think he probably has. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and the whole com- my whole co- the comments are just full of people going, "Are you talking about that?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, this is this is this is cl- damage collateral here. He says he hasn't, but the truth is, it was definitely, especially at one point, that definitely rivaled, uh, you know, on an MTV level. UK, come on, like it was pretty much peg- level pegging, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, but. And going back to your question, is there going to be another Dirty Sanchez movie? If somebody comes to the table, mm. and I mean, obviously it's not going to be like what it used to be, but I mean, I guess there's a lot of comedy that comes from what we do. Mm. So, and that comedy will always be there, mm. no matter how old we are. Banter. So, if somebody comes to the table and says, "Look, we want to do something," we'll sit down and have a chat, and then just go from there. Do you know how massive say. that would be? Like, I know. Well, it's I, number one in America. Yeah, Jack, no. it's number one film. But what are we waiting for here, people? Like this, this needs to be like happening right now. It, it, it would be incredible to have a Dirty Sanchez movie. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine it? Do you speak to the other guys? You speak I mean, I was literally I was speaking to Dane this morning. He said if it was to happen, we'd have to have rehab before and after. <laughs> literally, <laughs> I would imagine the making of was as much of a success as the, the actual film itself. <laughs> yeah, they could do a run up. They could do a follow on program. That, what life after the last Sanchez movie? Oh, but I speak to I speak to speak to Dane Pancho, every now and again. Pancho? I, well, I go I go. To, uh, Cold big up War, Pancho. Big, Cold, big up all the guys, man. Cold War to dip in with Pancho. We're we'll going to see him in Port Talbot every now and again. He's he's got his um, he's doing his clothing company called San Pantablo. So he's got a shop right. in Port Talbot. Mm-hmm. So you know he's he's doing well. Joyce, he's got a uh, happy skate in yes. In, big up Joyce, yeah. in, in Kent, and I went to see him not long ago. He's you know he's doing well. He's got a daughter and stuff as well. Beautiful. And he's just actually directed. Um, Lazy Generation, which is like the the British version, the, the the Jack the 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 Sanchez, the next boys up from us. No way. So they've that? got something on Comedy Central. So he was directing that and filming that. Wow, so that's, so that's, that's quite news. interesting. Wicked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Yo, this has got to happen. If that's if that's already in play, that you could do a Gumball Sanchez. Well, you take all the elements of because you know the going away aspect. You'd be on the road. Ah, I don't think the gumballs want to want us to get up. <laughs> what did they? We'll get chucked off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd have to be like some sort of dirty motorhead tour van or something. You know? uh, yeah. yeah. Well, we've 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 done a gumball in a Volkswagen van once. Really? It just looked like a Scooby Doo kind of. Yeah, I love van. it. It's fucking great. All the way to. London to Istanbul. What? Oh, this rings bells. I remember this now. Yeah, well, yeah. well the back of it was just like a, a, a rolling toilet. <laughs> <laughs> we had water everywhere, just yeah. oh, swirling Well, up I and didn't down know, but Dink said he was just putting his cock and just pissing up the side of the thing. But See, that's just inhumane, man. Like, you guys just... I, I, it's almost like... It's almost like you become like Tasmanian devils as soon as you're all together, isn't it? Well, it's backs to the wall. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, your nerves must be like... T- is there any damage? Oh, it's, 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 mental damage, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fucking full on mental... I mean, I feel sorry for Panch, because he got... Well, I don't feel sorry for him. Because when he gets drunk, he can be... A, that's why we do what we do to him. But um, we, <laughs> well, we've all suffered... We've all suffered mental torment from Sanchez, but, hey, it was, it was good fun, wasn't it? Is it was there anything... Oh, it's fucking great. Is there any physical damage which you could say, well, I wish that had healed? Uh, oh, I've got scars and stuff all over my really all over my body. Really, really. Yeah. It's this pretty mundane question I'm asking you. Rock stars, they could call it rock stars. Yeah, scars. I know it's part yeah. of it's, it's, you know it's, it's tour wounds, isn't it? So it's part of the course. Yeah. Uh, any regrets? Anything you regret? Regret? Yeah, I know it's a yeah. really deep word, isn't it? Any nah, regrets? not really. Mm. I mean. Pff, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, some, something recently happened which I, which I regretted, but that was my that was my fault, and I shouldn't have let it happen. And it, re, and it really played on my mind for a long, and it still does to this day. But can you indulge? Huh? Can you indulge? No, no, no. I don't want to keep it. To, want to keep it to keep it to myself. I mean, my my, my fiance and stuff, and those are my family. But yeah, but it is what it is, and and, mm. and we start again. Fairs of the heart are always hard, yeah. aren't they? You know what I mean? You could have all the physical damage you want in the world and a little bit of mental. It's the affairs of the heart that's the hardest bit. You just got to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Yeah. <laughs> just go again. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, yeah, almost, yeah. I'm almost 50, so, you know, I've got to... I've got to what? <laughs> just yeah, keep enjoying keep myself, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and also, I guess you're a really good advocate of fear nothing, there are no mistakes. Mm. Fear nothing. Because... I can't imagine you're scared of much after the the life you've had of all these different, you know, facing fears. Um, yeah, it does toughen you up, I guess. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't say I'm fearless, no. Really? No, 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 no I wouldn't say I'm fearless. You're very sensitive character. I don't think people actually realise that. No, no, I am not. sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not fearless. No. I mean, I, I, I mean that's where... That's where the fun comes from when we were doing Sanchez. If we were fearless, it wouldn't be funny. Mm. Because we were like, oh, yeah, jump up that building or go on in. Yeah. It's, just, it's that I don't want to do it, which is which mm. makes people laugh. But how do you conquer that? Like, how do you conquer, like, I mean, people get a buzz, adrenaline buzz, endorphin hits of a bungee jump, but you guys really, like, you know, on a shoestring, you'd do that. Like, you guys do it to a real... Oh, I mean, man, like, yeah. How do you how do you compose yourself and do some of the most crazy stuff? That's that to me. That's 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 the hardest bit of understanding. We uh, we don't. <laughs> it was um, uh, that was the worst thing about when we were filming Sanchez. It was that waiting, knowing what you were about to do, and and knowing it was going to be absolutely painful. And it was the suspense. Mm. The suspense was the worst. Being first was the best, although you didn't know what the outcome would be. Mm. But at least when you've done it, you've done it. Yeah, you've yeah. done it, you got it out of the way. And if it was really bad, then all the boys know, shh, that's really bad. i got to come well, into so me. So they can or see, it, they'll see that you've, you've impacted hard or you've thought, overthought and it's bad. Yeah, and then, then they know they've got, they've got to do it. So that was that was the good thing about going first. You got it out of the way and you got it done. So you going mm. la- going last after seeing the, the other block do it. It was yeah. just the worst. So there was this bit in the Jackass movie where they're doing the pogo and the ball. Yeah, the balls are just laying there, and I won't give away too much. But that for me, I, I literally walked away with a, a nightmare on my hands. I was like, "Yo, I just saw something that would just be my my childhood nightmare. It's my adult nightmare. It's everything." And they're just pogoing away, trying to stomp his balls. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you ever done that? Uh, to me, it's just like oh, a I mean, me, Joy, Joycey put his balls into a, a pool pocket, and I yeah, I remember that. Yeah, fired the ball straight into it, and I, I hit that ball hard, <laughs> <laughs> and he just went crumbling to the floor. So, I think when it comes to movies like Dirty Sanchez and the characters that are in it, there's a level of escapism that in 2022 onwards, people are starved of. You know what I mean? Like, there's one thing putting your phone down to watch a movie. There's another thing to watch a movie that genuinely has that documentation value, but you're you're sold on the characters. It's not a franchisable thing. You guys are identifiable to this show, and you know you know what you're getting. It says it on the tin. Yeah, yeah. No, I know exactly what you say. You can't you can't sell the idea because because that's not that's then no nobody's the same as. You and your mate. Yeah, exactly. And, and and I think that's the good thing with Sanchez. We've got such a good bond of comedy. Because, you know, your Pancho's always drunk, falling asleep, you know, and he's just funny anyway. Show them eyebrows off quick. And yeah, the hair. And, you know, don't sort of like the instigator. And, and mm. just, um, Joycey does all the sick stuff. I guess I'm just in, you know, Mr. 50-50 into doing anything. And Dane winds, my, my relationship with Dane on it is just, you know, it's funny as well, the way he winds me up and gets me every single time and I'm just really gullible. But it's just, you you can't you can't sell that to somebody no. else because you, that's us. And, mm. and nobody else can, mm. you know... And that's the difference between this and a jackass thing because jackass is a, is, a, is quite. It's t- after the movie, it felt like quite a movement. Like they've got new kids coming in, but you guys, it's 
it's like the band, the four piece. Like you guys are the, the nucleus of the thing. I quite like that. Uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, like like you said, the the lazy generation guys, they're like the new guys on the block. Mm, yeah. So, yeah. you know, you've got to make you've got to make way for the yeah, yeah. for the next you do, kids. Yeah. I mean, you do. We're getting um, we're not getting any younger, are we? No, we're not, brother. But it doesn't matter. You get make. I mean, as if as if you're getting older, that I haven't changed. It's a you know, as the full of us haven't changed as people, we're still the same. Mm. So the comedy's still there. It's still there. And the love for each other's still there, even after all these years. Yeah. What's the future, my brother? What's the future? What's I mean, the we've future? talked about this, but what's the oh, real future? Oh, God. What do you know? I mean, just literally, uh, well, I work... We're working on a few things at the moment, and it's just back and forth, meeting-wise, mm. so I can't really say much, but if it... Is it if exciting? It, if it comes off, it's, it's going to be really exciting, yeah. Whoa. And that will see me into the future, and that will be, that will be me then. Really? And, and then I'll be, and then I'll just. Uh, I mean, I, I could never just sit back and relax. I'll always have to be doing something. But but, um, but the, what you're going through at the moment is seismic to a a, a, a new path, something new. Oh yeah, 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 well, that's if people. Like like it. Mm-hmm. I mean, but I'm excited for it. Yeah, and I, I like the idea, the concept, the the, the format, and everything is, is really good. But um, wow, you know, it takes a long time to get these things off the ground. But uh, most fingers crossed, touch wood. Yes, yeah, there you and go. And then uh, uh, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we'll keep trying for something else then. That's the spirit, and that's the spirit of a successful person. That's how it works, isn't it? Get knocked down, yeah, get back it? up. That's it. That's it. It's the only way. Work rate. Thank you so much for joining me, my brother. Thanks for having Come me, man. On. That was beautiful. Brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty chilled inside the place. Hey, look, I keep it cool, I keep it going. You know what I mean? We get get down, get back up. Killer Cat Podcast. Ally like was out of fashion, sharing his care, and we do it for you. All right. So make sure you uh, spread the love. Take care of yourself. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Stay lucky. Peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I was> there. <laughs>